Oh, there's a fish. Oh, what is that? That's a bass. That's only a bad bass. That's a lot. Yep, that's a fish. Yeah, that's a fish. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are uh, back up here in Muskoka doing some public fishing just from the shore today. Um, so we'll see. We got a few days out here, so we're going to give it our all and uh, we'll just start off casting from shore, hoping for a pike this time. Finally, we can get a pike up here. We'll see. Oh, you got it. Oh, there's a fish. Yep. Oh, what is that? That's a bass. That's not a bad bass. Oh, that's a walleye. That's a walleye? No, no. That's a bass. Oh, come on, get out of there. There we go. Oh, oh that's a nice bass. Oh, that's a nice bass. All right. Oh, there we go. No, 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 no. I got him. There we go. I got him. Oh, yeah. That's a nice bass. There we go. All right. Woo. Oh, he's chunky. Might be a new PB there. I got a picture. Oh yeah, look at that guy there. That's a nice bass. Nice. Give a good little release there. Thank you for coming out to play. Okay, okay, okay. Good start to the day there. That might be a PB largey. Uh, Definitely up there. The underspin. First fish on the underspin. What did I just do? I just birds nested it. The highs and lows of fishing, bruh. Caught a very nice bass, and now here I am, like a quarter of a spool shorter. Got the backlash out though, so we are rolling. Let's see how this goes. Not really sure what happened there, if it just got uh, hung up underneath. Um, but so far, so good, it seems like. All right, I'm back. Oh yeah. What'd you do there recently? Oh, wait, who'd you see? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Brother is honing in on that wild robber. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that could've been bad. Just realized, I bought these at a flea market and I just realized there's two different colors. Because it's just green pumpkin. I was like, well, that's not green pumpkin. But you just added more. Sweet. <laughs> it was like a couple bucks cheaper and I got more. Come on, fish, dude. I know. Come on, Warren. Only you need a pike. You got a nice bass now, you need a pike. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's a fish. Actually, yeah, that's a fish. That's probably a pike. Think it's a pike? Oh, I'm on light line, bro. I'll get in the net. Alright, yeah, I'll just work it in here. I'll work it in. Alright, yep. That's 100% a pike. Okay. It's probably a big one. Be careful. I am careful. Oh, yeah. On the medium light. Here we go. Dude. 
Yeah, they're strong. Tiring this thing out though. What? Oh, it's a bass. <laughs> oh, and the, and the weeds. There we go. <laughs> it's a good bass. It's That's another good weeds. one. That's Holy like... <laughs> Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like, it's not really coming up. I thought maybe it was in, like in, going down like a pike, but that's not bad. Oh man, he was in the slop. That might be bigger, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, he's got some teeth, bruh. Get you. Let's get the weeds off here, buddy. There you go. Let's get those weeds off. All right. Don't you dare go anywhere. <laughs> Try to clean the weeds out of your mouth, buddy. Not a vegetarian. Oh man, he's hefty. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's good. All right. Let's get a good release on him. That is a nice another. Huge healthy bass, man. Sweet, okay. Yeah, it's awesome. I want another one, so I'm glad I got one. Yeah. <laughs> and he just had me in the weeds, bro. That's yeah, funny. I, I know. All right, that's not bad. Um, buried somewhere in here is my. Ned Jig, where the hell? Oh yeah, there it is, okay. It didn't hit it hard either. Like I didn't really even feel the bite. Yeah. Okay, man, I'm like mucked up here in the weeds, uh, but still pulling weeds off of everything here. Okay. Whew. EWG Ned Head, Hula Stick, that Copper Truce, that Chartreuse Ned Head. All my new baits, that's pretty good. Pretty fun. And I'll take that. That was another nice bass. Well, folks, day one in the books, sir. A uh, couple of nice large rock bass. Some very healthy fish. I cannot complain about that. Uh, we'll see. I think tomorrow we're going to be on the boat as long as weather is pretty good. And uh, we'll keep that quest for the pike going. Well, good morning, everybody. Day two. Back at it. Got a uh, Midwest Finesse swim jig here with a spark shad on there. You can see new spool on the bait caster uh, a little bit of a disaster yesterday but we did get into some nice bass so we're gonna see what's going on here we got the worms in the boat might do some walleye jigging later today but for now we're just out here casting to the shorelines oh yeah that's what you want to pitch to. It's a log. There's a log over there too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there's a fish. Yeah, it's small though. Yeah, I think it's like a rock bass or something. Or is it not a... What's going on here? What? It's not... It's fighting maybe a walleye? Like a small walleye. Oh, here he goes. Oh, it's smally, smally. Alright, come on in. No, I'm good. There we go. All right. Oh. 
There we go. Little chunker. Not a bad little guy. Okay. Got a weird little uh, Vibrax spinner here. It's got that number three kind of spoon on. Blue Fox. That minnow kind of looking body. Something a little different, but it's just a spinner. This is a spot, a shoreline that we usually hit from the shore. And so we switched things up around the boat. Kind of, we were out about hitting multiple spots and really nothing. So we decided just to come back here and fish it from a different angle. And it seems pretty interesting so far. So I was looking on Google, just uh, trying to find some, you know, public access spots. When I saw this Google review here, and I uh, was told this is a fruitful spot for pike. We're gonna give it a try, and uh, hopefully we can get on one here, or maybe even some bass. I don't really care. I'll take some fish either way. Okay, so right now just checking the inline spinner out. Gonna see what happens here. Um, kind of tough, you know. Not really any structure that I can see. I want to get back up to where those. Those kind of where those locks are, kind of where that dam is. That looks really nice. Um, I don't know how if I can get over there, but we're gonna give it a try. Maybe later in a bit. Well, a few lures later, and uh, I now have to place a tackle warehouse order and pick up some new jigs and other things. Uh, this spot was a dud, man. Do not trust everything you hear about public docks on Google reviews. I don't know how you're catching pike or really any decent fish here right now. I mean, I just couldn't really find structure or anything. Either way, that wraps up our trip, so I will be heading home soon. I'm now off to get some ice cream in me. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, tight lines out there.